Oh. <sighs> Tanya's doing my head in, man. What's going on? Oh, mate, since she, since we've had the babies, I think her, her fucking hormones are something, man. She's just like, I'm going to work for 10 hours most days. Mate, I said it before, I'll say it again, man. You've got a lot on your plate. I mean, you've got fucking, what, five? You've had another baby. You've got like, five kids now. I know, man. It's like, I mean, it's, a lot of the time it's fine. It's just the last few months is bullshit. Your sex life is non-existent. You bring around here, mate. I'll sort that. <laughs> yeah, I fucking wouldn't mind doing that, mate, if it meant she gets off my back. Well, I do normally pop around your house when you're not in. But, um... <laughs> I'm at work all day. It's fucking ten hours. Where I'm working, there's the, you know, like the credit crunch and all that, the targets, I'm not meeting them, it's bullshit at work, man. Why don't you think of finding something else to do? Can you not find something else? Well, as opposed to do everything in my life that I have to do. I'm saying, find another job. It's not about a job, it's about a home life as well, man. Her mum's constantly there, she's constantly in my front room. Don't be any, mate, I don't want to fucking top her. Yeah, if there's here. anyone I wanted to kill, mate, it'd be my boss. He pulls me in an office and says, Dude, he knows the industry's fucked. Everyone's no no one's selling. Yeah. And he's like, Julian, so uh so what's been happening? The figures aren't really Like no one's selling, mate. You're not selling. Don't pass the shit down to me. His boss is on his back, he's yeah. on my back. What's your bully? You know, it would be better if he if he was dead. Seriously, I'll be, be thinking, on the way home today, I'm on the tube, I'm thinking, the best news I'd get if he fucking died. Yeah? I used to think that, man. I mean, I remember thinking if a fucking bomb landed on my office, I wouldn't give a shit. Also, outside work as well, he's like, it's awkward. It's like, he ain't my boss outside work. Yeah, he'll say, we're in a pub, and he'll say, he'll tell me to do things. Yeah. The fuck are you off. talking to? I can't yeah. tell him to go fuck himself. I would. I'd say fuck yeah, but I'll get him, it in the, I'll get it in the back in the office. It's bullshit, man. He always picks on someone. It's like if it ain't, it just goes around the office. It's me at the moment, man. Maybe we should top the gun. Oh, mate, I fucking dread Monday. I fucking dread mate, it. I've been watching loads of I've been watching loads of things on murder programs on TV. Mate, so, I fucking love to kill him. Have you seen the Country Murders? Have you seen that? I, I might been, have done. I've heard of it. Yeah. It's just been like a murder. Happens in some sort of like unexpected in a little town where you expect nothing to happen, like oh, where someone's been murdered. And like, oh, they always get caught by the most stupid things. You could probably fuck him. You you know where the geezer lives. You know his way where he walks home. You could probably actually kill him. He's probably got about a hundred people who want to kill him. So yeah, and those things mental. But I was actually thinking about murder in Saint Lake. I've been thinking a lot about murder lately. Like I know it seems this seems ridiculous, but I just feel like I'd be like fucking quite exciting to actually. Go out and kill someone, you know, oh, like an experience. I'd love to fucking kill him. Just put him in a chair, tie him up, and say, "Here's my sales targets, motherfucker," and put a brick yeah. in his face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but where, where would you, where would you kill him? Because the thing in is, in some abandoned warehouse with him in a chair. Oh, well, even that though, I think like just drag him, drag him to the woods. There's just the, there's nowhere the police can start, can they? There's nowhere to look. He There's takes no his shit out on me though. Like he, he's obviously getting some shit at home, and he comes in in his bad mood, hung over, and he just takes it out on me. It's yeah. like, the fuck have I got to do with it, mate? I fucking will kill him. Kill the cunt. Like, drag him down. I'd like to tie him to the back of my fucking car and drag just him. Drive around with him. You should fucking eliminate the cunt. When you Remove him from his planet. If I had a razor blade in my hand, he was tied in a chair. I'd be the fittest. What'd you do to him? Oh shit, I'd have a good time, man. <laughs> Cave his fucking head in. <laughs> Dress in my fucking work suit as well. Who do you live with? He's got a wife, I don't know. I think he's got he's got kids, but they don't live with him. Put some funky tunes on the radio, have him tied to a no. chair and just start cutting him. <laughs> yeah. Fucking do it, mate. Here's a secret Santa, mate. Yeah, it's your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a bottle of, he's got a little hip flask in his drawer at work. Yeah? I fucking love to strangle that cunt, man. Kill the cunt. Ah. Oh. Kill him. Fucking kill him. I fucking will kill him. There's a guy at the door with a machete.